set 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 2 to form a basis for four dimensional vector space, right? So what is the condition for which the set can be extended to form the basis for the given vector space? For that, these two vectors should be linearly independent. And how do we check that these vectors are linearly independent? Yes, if these vectors are not multiple of each other, right? then only these vectors can be linearly independent. And yes, these vectors are not multiple of each other, right? So these vectors are linearly independent. And now we can extend these vectors to form the basis of four dimensional vector space. Let's write this. Since these two vectors are not multiple of each other, so therefore these are linearly independent. Thus, this set can be extended to form the basis of four dimensional vector space, right? Okay. What are the standard bases of four dimensional vector space are? That is one zero zero zero, zero one zero zero, zero zero one zero, and zero 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 one. So these are the standard bases of four dimensional vector space. So these bases plus these two bases total six vectors these vectors are now the generating set of r4 so therefore r4 is generated by those six vectors that is one 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 two one two and then the standard basis and now we need to get the basis of r4 for that we need to write all these vectors in a matrix form and then from this matrix we need to get the echelon form matrix, right? And discover the non-zero rows. All right. Please keep one thing in mind that these two vectors should not be disturbed. So the elements present in this matrix, that is in the first row and in the second row, these elements should remain intact at last, right? These should remain as it is. All right. In the first row, I'm having the leading entry to be as 1. To make this as a leading element, I need to make these two elements to be 0. To get 0 in place of 1, just multiply the row 1 with negative 1 and adding its elements to the row 2. And also, to get 0 in place of this 1, I need to multiply the row 1 with negative 1 and adding its elements to the row 3. So I'm applying the two operations. Changing the row 2 and adding its elements to the row 1, but row 1 should be first multiplied with negative 1. And second operation, changing the row 3 and adding its elements to the row 1, but row 1 should be first multiplied with negative 1. So for the second row, I'm getting 0, 1, 0, 1. And in the third row, I get 0, negative 1, negative 1, negative 1. And writing the all other rows as it is. As all the entries below the leading entry is zero, so this leading entry now becomes the leading element for the first row. For the second row, this is the leading entry. What is the leading entry? The first non-zero element present in the row, right? To make this as a leading element, I need to get zero in place of negative one and one. To get zero in place of negative one, I need to multiply the second row with 1 and adding its elements to the third row. So I get 0, 0, negative 1, 0. To get 0 in place of this 1, again I need to multiply the second row with negative 1 and adding its elements to the fourth row. So I get 0, 0, 0, negative 1. And writing the all other rows as it is. So now this becomes our leading element for the second row because all other entries below this leading entry is zero. For the third row, negative one is the leading entry. To make this the leading element, I need to get zero in place of this one. For that, I need to multiply the third row with one and adding its elements to the fifth row. So I get zero, 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 zero in the fifth row, writing the sixth row as it is. And this become the leading element for the third row.
In the fourth row, I'm having negative one to be the leading entry. To make this the leading element, I need to get zero in place of this one now. For that, I multiply the fourth row with one and adding its elements to the sixth row. So I get zero, 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 zero in the last row. So now this also becomes our leading element for the fourth row. So this is your echelon matrix. And I'm having the non-zero rows to be as these four rows. But at the very start, I have told you that in the first row, the elements should be one, 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 one. That is very fine. In the second row, I must have one, two, one, two. But I'm having zero, one, zero, one. So how can I get one in place of zeros and two in place of ones? What operation should I apply for this? If I add these two rows, then I get one in place of zero, two in place of one, one in place of zero, and again two in place of one. Then our job is done. Yes. So in the next operation, we need to add these two rows. So I need to change the row two and adding its elements to the row one, but row one should be first multiplied with one. Yes, we have to multiply the first row with one only and then adding its elements to the second row. So now we get one, two, one, two. So these two vectors are very important to remain as it is, which is given to us, right? So this step is very important. And then writing the other rows as it is to avoid the negative signs of the entries. Let me multiply row third and row fourth with negative one. So applying the operation, changing the row third and multiplying this row with negative one and also the another operation, changing the row fourth by multiplying this row with negative one. This is your required beautiful echelon matrix. And how many number of non-zero rows are there? We are having four non-zero rows. So therefore, the basis B1 becomes 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 2. These two vectors which are given to us already. And extending these vectors, extending the set, to form the basis of R4 as the next vectors are 0, 0, 1, 0 and 0, 0, 0, 1, right? So this is basis of R4, which is an extension of the set 1, 1, 1 and 1, 2, 1, 2. So these vectors in the basis should match with the given vectors. Alright, thank you.